Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is an unboxing, swatching and review of these pencils. Before we start, um, I got these sent to me by Grabby. They're an art supplies um, online website that kindly contacted me a while ago and asked if they could send me something to review um, so I had a little look on their website they're kind of branching into art supplies um, and they have some really interesting items and it seems to grow day by day because um, I've just noticed very recently after watching Kay's video that they're doing um, gel crayons and you know how I feel about that so I'm going to have to have a little look I think and it seems like they're just ever building and growing their supply of art supplies. They seem to have a lot of interesting brushes um, and I saw some really interesting wax sealing kits as well that I'm uh, really quite keen to have a little look at so um, I'm going to be checking those things out next I think. So I've had this for a couple of weeks because I wanted to do a proper review of the item. This is the Giorgione Classic Colour 72 pencil set. You know me, when given the option um, to review something I went straight for the pencils. Um, this I believe is the biggest set that I saw. And before we get into anything else, in the description below there will be a link to the Grabby website. But there is also a 15% off code. They gave me a discount code which is very nice. It's MSC15, all in capitals. Um, that will be down below so you can copy and paste that. So when you, if you purchase anything you'll get 15% off. That is not a cashback code, it's not an affiliate code. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with this company at all. The beautiful thing is, it is just, just a discount code that they gave me for you guys. So you get immediately 15% off your purchases from the site, so do use it. Um, there will also be in the description box the actual product link for this set of pencils if you're interested. Um, they're a budget set, they're a good price. I think they're retailing at the moment for about £24 for the 72 set. It has got the attached folding lid. I know for some people that's a big deal that they're, you know, they're um, a hinged lid. They quite like that. Nice uh, red metal case. And you will notice in my set some of the pencils are facing downwards. That's because I'm actually working on a project with them. I'm nearly done and I needed to remember the pencils. The main downside with these is they're not named or numbered, but they have this little um, kind of section here that you can add a name in. So basically, I'll pop a number in there and then use that number, uh, create my own number codes for the swatch chart. So I've done a full review of these so that, you know, you can actually see the pencils properly. I've used them a little bit um, and I am going to re re review them properly in today's video and then we will also swatch them out. So we have the two trays in here. They've chosen some gorgeous colours it's a lovely colour range that can be a bit trickier with a 72 set but I really feel like that they've you know they've they've paid attention to this which is quite nice because it can be some sets they can be a little bit hinky with their colour choices and I did not struggle at all when picking the colours I wanted even down to they've got some quite light colours and impressively some dark colours which budget smaller sets tend to really struggle with the bottom and top end of shades I've noticed so we'll swatch those out to see just how truly light and dark they are right so apart from that we've done our usual tests I have here um, the pencils, you have to ignore the top line, that's my Lyra. The pencils on black, this is one and two layers. I've done blue, red, yellow, green, and then three layers, one, two, three layers of white. Pretty standard, pretty usual. They actually turn up really quite nicely on here and they're about as opaque as you expect. For what I can tell is an oily based pencil. There's definitely, well, I would say 
I'm going to say I think there's more certainly more oil in these than wax so um, pretty standard we have the usual colour test I did a white to blue um, white making stuff up a yellow to blue blend and got green a yellow to red blend and got a nice orange I always struggle with the purple one but we did blue and red and I did get a kind of a purpley tone but you've got to really pick those two colours properly to get a true purple we did four layers and then one layer with pressure. You can see you very quickly get a nice um, rich colour payoff with these. Um, blended them out to show a blend layer and they're just there. They, they go down really nicely. I don't use zest it but I know a lot of people do like to blend their pencils so as always we've done the circle half is just pencil and then half I've blended in with um w the product name for us is zest it it's just a blending medium and uh you can see they reacted really nicely there that is a three green mix to be, I mean, I, I like either or. I don't find this an eyesore at all, to be honest, but everybody has their preference. I know it seems to be a big deal for some people at the moment to check the movement with water. I would never put pencil down and then a water medium over it. I would always do it the other way, but just in case that is the movement you got when you've laid down pencil and then you swipe it with a water brush obviously the red and blue moved a lot the green not as much the yellow it is there i don't know how much you can see it but the pencils will move if you're going to use water with them which like i said pretty standard you would expect that with a lot of pencils um i have done a project i say done i am doing <laughs> A project with them my coloring is um, very slow going at the moment been pretty busy but I've been working on this piece Um, I hate the color uh, flower I did for the middle so I changed it it was um like a weird purple Um, so it's not the pencils fault that was just me Um, some beautiful orange and purples the yellow and orange went down really nicely and you can see they're just a really nice rich vibrant pencils those greens I've got down really good contrast and I mean Joanna Basford paper you know it's it's always pretty much a joy with these kind of pencils but they've just been really fun to play with and nice to use to be honest we have the pencils themselves are rather interestingly a triangular pencil which um, I, I didn't know that when I bought them but when they came and I, you hold hold them you think oh not sure about that but they've actually been quite comfortable for me to work with it has not been the con I thought it would be the only thing I would say obviously with that thinner pencil um itself i don't know how easy that would be to use if you have any kind of problems with your hands or um with your grip um and of course you guys know i use a finger sleeve for my finger bump and that fixes all evils there but obviously if you actually have arthritis i'm not sure whether they would be a bonus or not it's obviously hard for me to tell it just makes them a, a thinner pencil grip so i, I know that can be a little bit of a difficulty they remind me very much of the cray art when they were kind of super popular and going around i do have a set of cray art and they work very much similarly they lay down very vibrant color very much the same as i said i find it to be an impressive color selection um, you get immediate rich payoffs, so you're not having to mess around. It's nice for those simpler pages, the Joanna Basford pages, the florals. If you were doing kind of real life or you wanted that more muted vintage, you know, the the more budget sets, they don't tend to have those muted vintage colours really that you're going to want. But, you know, if you're a good... Um, colour mixer if you're quite good at putting them together you you'll be able to create whatever you want with especially a set this big i have had fun working with them it does say on the case that it is res responsibly sourced wood which is nice it's an eco pencil um 
it's always good to be uh, when we're using this much paper and wood up to know where it's coming from and they're quite a firm lead and they hold their point well um, the tin says that they're a 3.3 mil lead and they are SV bonded which is that little white layer you get between your lead and your wood that's supposed to help with breakage um, from the 9 or so pen, 10, 9, 10 pencil colours I've used so far I didn't have any breakage um, as you can see even though I've done most of a page none of my pencils are overly short to what you would expect for the amount of colouring that I've done because you know I wasn't constantly sharpening or having any struggle with them so I'm going to pop these to one side and we will swatch them as I say the one true downside I found with these is there's no colour names or numbers but like I said with a little a little label on them that can easily be rectified so it's not the end of the world it's just something that you know that one thing where you wish it was slightly different I'm gonna zoom you guys in for the swatch and just uh refocus that just in case and we will work on these we do have a white i'm not going to bother to swatch that on white but it's there just for your reference um and we shall have a little look at these so i've got this cream kind of color i'm very sorry if you guys don't like to watch swatches but we do these because obviously a lot of people really do like to see them swatched out watch how they work and of course then see the colours that are available. You can always skip forwards a little bit if you like. We've got rather an impressive array of um, yellows in this set. And of course, as always, they're a budget pencil, so once actually working with these, you would want to sharpen off that outer layer. I haven't bothered just for the swatch, but when using them, I would do. Oh yeah, we're still going with the yellows. <laughs> And you can see how a couple of these are just immediately such a vibrant, deep colour. Don't know how well that always comes off on camera, but... We're getting just into the oranges now. We're still, we're still a yellow really, but we're getting a bit more depth to them now as we transition into that orange. They're not overly dusty. Obviously they are a little bit dusty, all pencils are, but there's not a crazy amount to it. Like I say, they, they're quite firm, they held their point pretty well. And they're actually quite smooth. Especially, as I say, once you have sharpened them. You'll get some, the texture I'm getting is because this is this is just cheap photocopy paper that I um, use. And I use this for all my crafts, so I tend to be leaning on it all the time and printing through it from whatever project I had above it. Into these greens now.
quite nice to see one of those kind of more gorgeous earthy pine kind of greens. And I was quite pleased with kind of, you know, the very pale, even with the yellows, the very pale to the very dark. Same with your greens, very pale to very dark. And you do have those different green tones in there. Um, whoever picked these colours kind of, you know, really thought it through really nice. Look at this beautiful uh, and a teal colour. That makes a set for me. We're then into the, they get a little bit weird now. We go blue and then back to, uh, we go purple and then back to blue, I think. It might have been me that's put some of these back in the wrong order, actually. I just really like how they've got some really dark purples in there as well. And a nice dark blue. I must admit, I mean, don't get me wrong, once I saw they did gel crayons, I was like, oh should have chosen those but I'm really not disappointed that I asked them to send me the pencils quite pleased with this set I've already got myself a pencil case for them I know guys I know I try not to use them too much on the channel because then I know people find it annoying with sets that they don't have but Some of your blues are very similar in tone. Probably could have, you know, swapped some of them out for a different colour, but to be honest, probably at that point they were just trying to fill the rest of their colours in and people love a good blue. They are ever so slightly. You've got a purple tone to this one, a truer blue to this one, a bit of a grey blue to this one. So they are ever so slightly different, but... Again, that really beautiful pale. There's almost a little bit of, um, not a grey, maybe a little bit of aqua to that pale blue, which is nice. And then there's the one we all wait for. Look at that pale blue. That is almost a miracle in itself to get. <laughs> to get a blue that pale in a budget 72 set um yeah yeah swatch it again and it's actually not sometimes a lot of these they can be so so scratchy and it's not actually a bad pencil that but yeah look how pale that blue is that is very impressive uh, right, we then go a bit weird. We're going to pinky purples. 
So yeah, just when you thought you didn't get any purples in your set. I, I, I can't decide whether I put those back in the wrong place or not. It's possible, I guess. Again, I mean, very, very similar. You probably could have got away with something um, a few shades up or down to that, to be honest. And then a beautiful ready pink. These aren't my kind of colour, to be honest. You'll notice you don't. Don't ever really see those on my pages, but they're still beautiful colours. I don't really use a lot of magenta. We're getting into the reds. We have a true scarlet there. Nice. I think they were aiming for a true red there, but from the colour of the barrel, but it's definitely a little bit pinky. So they tried, but not much, but there's a tiny little bit of pink in that. That's just moving it, shifting it slightly from the true red. Oh, no, they've redeemed themselves, I think. Oh, no, I think there's a little bit of orange in that one. Yeah, that one's a little bit, a little bit too orange to be a true red. And then I've lost where I am. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah, okay. Back on track. Did this one get it? No, that's definitely a ready orange as well. This one's a bit more like salmon coral. That one's a bit more orangey red. One more. Yeah, again, it's just got that bit too much pink in it. But we do have the scarlet. Okay, we're into the pinks. This does not match its barrel. Looks like a fluorescent. It's actually coming off a little bit darker than that. Not mad about that. I never use, I don't, I don't like fluorescent colours. So don't use them. So the fact that that's more of a usable bubblegum pink is actually nicer. And we've got a lovely baby pink straight after it. Slight bit more purple in that pink. And then, is this going to be a coral? Yeah, more of a true coral colour. And we look to be into the kind of salmon-y sort of colours. I'm slightly disappointed there wasn't a slightly you know that they didn't manage with the pinks what they managed with the blue would have loved to have seen a couple of shades lighter just one really really pale pink would have been amazing but again you can't really be too mad at them most sets don't manage that can't expect the world for 24 quid can we I do like that one make a nice skin base for a pale skin tone of course more yellowy version that would be nice for a more mid-tone skin base back into the purples again more of those kind of lilac colours a bit more blue to these So 
some of the paler purples in there now. Just make sure we're on camera. Nice rich mid-tone. Go beautifully with these and this. And that slightly more pinky tone. Right, we're then into the greys. Look at that lovely green grey. Um, I'm quite impressed. That's not usually the choice that the budget sets go with. Obviously a 72 set, you're not going to get a whole lot of greys. rather like the ones that they decided to go with and the fact that there's not too many which obviously enables them to pop a lot more colours into your set we're moving into the brown tones now this lovely rich chocolate really hoping the browns don't let us down now <laughs> oh, let's see this soft ochre colour to add the bottom blend of your browns in strange way around but your more tanny colour oh man down hang on this is why we have carpet. Well, it survived its fall. Although, in fairness, it did fall on carpet, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, that is a very orangey brown. That is that is what I, that is a terracotta, if you ask me. That is nice, very nice. And a reddy brown. We've got a burgundy. That's very pleasing. Yes, very pleasing. I was assuming they were the reds we were getting. It's really nice to get a burgundy. Give that, you know, the final tone to your red blend. And then a, a warmer chocolate brown. Nice. So there's a little bit more red to this than this more neutral one. And we've got a purple randomly in there. <laughs> I think they just come in a slightly weird order because I don't remember moving those. It's definitely a purple, a nice purple. It's a bit more mauve -y. Look at that. Look at that nice deep brown. Yes, I'm so pleased they did not let us down there at the end. That is a nice selection. I like that there's dark browns in it. It's really disappointing when you don't get some dark brown. We've got a nice black. It's not a true black. It's not bad, but it's not that deep, rich black. Nice though, I went down smooth. And then we have a gold. We have a gold. I don't use metallic colours. I won't use metallic colours. It's just not something I colour with. But that is quite smooth for a metallic colour. 
don't know if I can really, can you see? It's got a nice sheen. I like that there's only one, because like I say, I won't use them. So to me, they're always, they're a bit like the fluorescents. They feel like wasted pencils. I give them away. But um, as far as the gold's concerned, that is got a nice, that is nice. Right, bring you guys back out. Look at that. Look at that. That's actually the first time I've seen the colours swatched out. I just simply picked out colours that I wanted to use for my project. I could tell there was an impressive array, array not away, array from the leads that I could see, but um, yeah, that is a nice brown selection. I'm very pleased with the greys they went with. Those more unusual, not just your normal cool bog standard like medium grey. Um, there are a couple of nice warmer shades yeah not gonna lie i think that all like i said the only thing for me i would have liked to have seen that really really pale pink but let's be honest i'm pretty sure i can find that in one of my other pencil sets i have and i'm pretty sure if that was your first and only set that would not be the end of the world for you because let's be honest you put this down lightly you pop a white or a cream over it You've got the pale pink that you wanted. It's nice that you've got these paler purples in here. And uh, these darker colours are, again, impressive to see, to be honest. It can be hard to get some darker tones in sets. And obviously you can add some black to these to really enrich those shadows area, shadowed areas for yourself. So yeah guys, I hope this was useful. As I say, they seem to be um a nice little company that's popped up that they're not the manufacturer, they're just the retailer. From what I've seen, you'll see different products from different companies popping up on their site and um they do do other stuff. I think maybe their art department is um you know something that they're newly building on and working and creating and adding items to and Hope this was helpful for you to make your choice on this set of pencils. Thank you very much for watching guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. I will let you, <laughs> I will let you, I will let you what? I don't know, what am I letting you do? My brain just continues talking sometimes without letting my mouth catch up. So not I will let you, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.